It's Will from Chemnitz. Hi, Ryder from Chemnitz. And what do you want to do today? Dye some yarn. <gasps> Why do you want to dye yarn? Because I love dyeing yarn. It's so fun. And even will make me a sword. <laughs> no, we're not going to make you a shirt. Okay, back up. You I mean a hat. Bye. Did you ask Mommy to film a video? No, I was just joking. But anyways... <laughs> but anyways, you dye some yarn to make me a hat. Oh, is that what you want to do? Yes. Okay, well we won't finish the hat for this video. But you can dye some yarn. <laughs> I hope this is as fun as the last time I dyed some yarn. Do you remember the type of yarn you dyed last time? Yeah, we were making you dyeing a salt. Oh, we did. You're right. The last video you did, we dyed a shirt. Ryder, how old are you? Five years old. You are? Yes, I am, indeed. <laughs> okay, and do you know how you dye yarn? What do you need to dye yarn? Yarn. Yeah. Dye. Yep. Yeah. Waddle. Yep. Yeah. And the thing that takes the water out of the yarn. Oh, the spin dryer? Yeah. <laughs> okay, those are some materials you need. But do you want to show everyone this? You designed. Well, you show the camera. I'm, so you want to see this? Yes! Look. Oh, wow. Did you design that yourself? Of course. My mom said something about yarn. Tell us about the yarn you want to dye. So, as you see, my grease bush and purple is pink. Is. Okay, so those are the two colors you want to and use? Mostly that's dark green is and dark purple. Okay, so that's your plan? Yeah, that's my plan. I'll make yarn. And at the top it says my yarn. That's a A. But oh. in cover that does not have two lines down. Now, what kind of yarn did you ask to dye? Smooth yarn. You wanted a smooth yarn? Yep. Okay, because I told him, I told Ryder that there's some choices between sort of a fluffier yarn and smoother yarn. So we're picking a smooth yarn. What do you think? Beautiful. Gentle. Ryder, can you read the name on the yarn? Lucy? Oh, that's a good guess. It's called Muse. This is an Aran Weight 100% Superwash Merino yarn. Oh. It is single ply, relatively high twist, and very smooth. Well, look at that orange spot. Oh, that orange spot. You see, that's just the tie. That gets cut off in the end. So don't worry about that. Yeah. Today, Ryder and I are going to dye some yarn with food coloring. And to dye yarn... Hi, honey. To dye yarn with food coloring, you need four main things. You need your artificial food coloring. So check the ingredients for things like red 40, blue 1, things like that. You need to have heat and acid. So we will be using the stove for our heat and some white vinegar for our acid. And then finally, you need to make sure you pick the right fiber content. In order to dye fiber with artificial food coloring, you need a protein-based fiber like wool. Superwash wool works really, really well. Other animal fibers like alpaca and silk and mohair will work wonderfully as well. But unfortunately, you cannot dye cotton, other plant fibers, or synthetics like acrylic and polyester with food coloring. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Let's dye some yarn. I know, let's dye some yarn. Have you been asking this for many days now? Let's dye some yarn right now. Right now? Yeah. Well, first we have to pre-soak it. The first thing we're going to do is add on some zip ties. This is going to help us keep from tangling the yarn by accident. I am personally comfortable dyeing yarn in my kitchen using my cooking pots and pans. However, today I am going to happen to use my dedicated dye equipment with Ryder. So I would say I would use food coloring on dedicated dye tools that I use with commercial dyes, but not the reverse. So, I want to throw that out there. If you don't have dedicated dye equipment, you can still play around with this. Okay, Ryder, can you put on the zip tie? On here? Yep. Yeah. Like, 
Nope. So here, put it around this section. Can you hook that in? There you go. That is one zip now tie. I'll do the next one. You want to do the next one? Okay. Well, you want to make sure it's around all of the strands. Hold on. These are reusable nylon zip ties. There you go. Oh, can you do it on camera? <laughs> Oh, that's fine. Well, Ryder did it. Yay! Okay, we don't want to make it too tight. Now we need to get some water. It looks like the ocean. It looks like the ocean? Well, here, why don't you hop down so I can... Oh, I guess you're as close as you can. All right. We need to make the yarn wet so that way we can dye it. Can you add the yarn to the water? Oh, I put it in. Yeah. That's the perfect way to hold it by those zip ties. Okay, is it nice and wet? <laughs> there you go. It's not my hands wet. Do you want? Do you not want your hands to get wet? Yeah. So I wash my hands and dry them. Well, this is just clean water, so you don't need to wash them. But do you want mommy to push it in? Sure. Do you want to help? No thanks. Besides, you're the one who's supposed to do dyeing all that yourself. But this is special. Well, this is special because you're supposed to be dyeing the yarn, but mommy will do it. We're pre-soaking the yarn in just plain tap water. I've not added any acid to it yet. Uh, and we'll let it pre-soak for probably 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, if you want to make sure you get more even color coverage, you want to pre-soak longer, and then you can go a little shorter if you don't mind if there's some white left behind. But ultimately, the technique determines mommy, some of that. Could oh. I be the one? Put the food coloring in. Absolutely. So wait, can you put the food coloring in the wall and then the wall put, give it to the yarn? Yes, but what we're going to do is we're going to let this get really nice and wet and we're going to mix up our dye colors. I'll pick the food coloring. You want to pick the food coloring? All right. This is the Americolor Nifty 50 food coloring set. Ooh. Green, blue, purple, mm -hmm. pink. Let's see which pink this one is. Some pinks are... That oh. one looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. Some pinks on this are a little annoying, but we will try our best. So are those the four colors you want? Yep. These are good to go and these are good. Okay, ca careful because it can be a little bit messy. Yeah, how about you put it in? Well, no, no, you'll get to do it. So Ryder picked out uh, electric pink, regal purple, royal blue, and forest green for his four colors for his yarn. But did you want to mix the colors together and just have two colors? Yep. Yeah, that's what you wanted to do? These two get mixed together, these two get mixed together. All right, so let's start uh, preparing to mix. They are going, they, they are going, they are. Okay, so we're going to dye 200 grams of yarn. So, well, let's, let's just see how much color you add. Which color do you want to do first? Pink. Pink? Okay. Just how much do you want to put in? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, this is this is a reason why I don't love Americolor is some of them can be a little hard. I did add one cup of warm tap water. Here, now try. Warm tap water to each. Is that good? Yep. Okay. Now purple. Okay, now the purple will potentially squeeze easier. I don't know. Why don't you try? Is that good? Yep. Okay. Now, Americolor is pretty thick blue. overall. Okay, green? No, it's blue. You want the blue? Okay. And they are. Yes, why don't you put it in? Be very gentle. Oh! You want a little more? No, thanks. That's good? Yeah, I'm green. Okay. They're nice one. I'm starting to say, um, Oh, it's hard to, Americolor is not my favorite food coloring brand, but I do like that they have so many pre-mixed colors. Oh, all right. Let's see where we are, and then we can decide if we needed to, to add more of these colors to it. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Yep. 
Here, why don't you carefully stir up this one, and I will carefully stir up our purpley pink. Now, did you know that purple is a really fun color to dye yarn with, and that it might separate into pinks and blues? So even though we have a purple mixture, you might see both pink and blue from it. What do you think? This would be if that pink and that blue. Yeah. Now we're going to see what these two colors look like. So we've got a purpley pink, and then we've got that color. What do you think? Is that what you want? Yeah. Did you know that the very first yarn you ever dyed was purple and green? Yes, purple green. Yeah, and do you, what, what do you see happening here on that paper towel? So that looks beautiful. Some blue and some pink. Yeah, is the color separating? Yeah, and even look. This is purple, that is green. Yeah. Sweet the first yarn I dyed. Just like the first yarn you dyed that's in a sweater mommy wears. So I'm going to keep these colors in case we need more. What did you want to say? This is so fun. I hope we do this every day. You want to do this every day? Of course. It's so fun. <laughs> we do this kind of yarn every day. Maybe not every day. Why? Right, but maybe this on a lot. Is there anything that you would like to tell the people that you like to do? I like to play video games and do this. <laughs> Next, mommy. Next. Do you want there to be white left in the yarn? No. No? You want to try to get as much color coverage as we can? Yeah. Okay. But if there is some white, it's okay. It's okay if there's some white? Yeah. We are going to use this 12 quart uh, stainless steel pot today, uh, mainly because it's something that similar to what most people might have at home. That's so okay. soaking wet. It is so soaking wet. Um, I, I hope my hands don't get wet. <laughs> well, honey, if you want to dye yarn, your hands are going to get wet. Oh, I don't really want to touch yarn that's wet. You don't want to touch the wet yarn? Yeah. Can you put it in the pot? Only buy those. Fine. So, put, don't hold them through the loop. Hold them through the loop. Lift it up high. Okay, and that's how you want it in the pot? Yep. I think we need to arrange, we should arrange it a little bit. How about we just cover all the ground? You want to cover all the ground of the pot? Yeah. Can you do that? No thanks, you can. Ryder! But you always lie on, and I want you to still have time to dry yarn. <laughs> you can dry your hands after. Why don't you spread the yarn out so it covers the whole... <sighs> well, so by spreading it, you want to like pick it up and move it. Can you do that? Are you happy with how that's set up? Yeah, now I'll dry my hands. Now you can go dry your hands. Okay, since you don't want as much white, we're now going to add just enough water to mostly cover the yarn. So what would you say? Is all the yarn under the water? Um, no. Which parts aren't? Can you push, can you push some of that down? No thanks. Okay, so we'll push that down a little then, bit. If I do, then I'll have to dry my hands again. Well, sweetie, dying yarn involves getting wet. All right, we've got no acid in here yet, but yep. we'll add some white vinegar. We're not going to add a ton. This is a superwash yarn, so colors will strike faster. Can you hold this over? So, the vinegar is so smelly. Vinegar is so smelly. We're going to add one tablespoon of white vinegar. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, if we wanted the colors to strike even faster, then we would add more. Um, but actually, I think, because you want the colors to spread out, right? Okay, so let's add a little more water. Actually, the rest of the pre-soak. Uh, so, I would say there's enough water in here that yep. the yarn is mostly floating. Wow, which means it's light. Which color do you want to add first? Greenish bluish. The greenish bluish? Okay. 
I'm gonna grab. Wait, wait. You just going to take it out? No, I want you to take this and pour it on. No, take the cup. Two hands. Pour it on. Okay. Now the next one. <laughs> what, are you, what are you so happy about? <laughs> now, do you want to pour this? Do you want to pour? <laughs> it's so exciting. Do you, do you want to? I'll pour, pour this no matter what. Do you want to pour it in the same spot or in a different spot? Oh, okay. Oh, careful with the shaking. But yes, okay, that worked. Um, so they might combine because you poured them in the same spot. Um, but now, do you want to poke it a little bit with a spoon to help the color spread out? Sure. Oh, you want to stir it. Ooh, that's really beautiful, Ryder. Okay, is that stirred enough, do you think? It's stirred enough. Ooh. Wow, this is really, really pretty, honey. I wonder how it turned out. I hope it turns out beautiful and nothing like the others. What, you don't like the yarn I have on the stove? Well, I like him, but I hope this looks different because I like a new yarn. Oh, well, that's a good thing. Now, the reason why we will still end up with different colors in here is that we had mixtures of pink and blue and purple, basically and green. and green. But colors with red three in it, like that pink, strike really, really quickly, especially to superwash yarn. And so that's what's known as color breaking. And so that's why you'll see some areas that are distinctively pink. We do have a tiny bit more dye in here. Do you want to add this last little bit? You can. No, no, I'll let you do it. Let me, let me just put some water on it. So then it. Can you, can you pour this on? Okay. And what about this last little bit of pink? You mean pinkish purplish? Pinkish purplish. Okay. I think that this yarn is going to be absolutely beautiful. Yeah, now, will. do you remember what we need to do to get all the color to stay in the yarn? Dry it. Well, before we dry it, if we were to go and dry it right now, a lot of the color would just come out. So do you know what we have to do? Boil. We have to boil. Well, it doesn't have to exactly boil, but yes, we do have to heat it. Dying yarn is the best thing ever. What? <laughs> it so, is. Mommy, can you move my... Yes, we can move your stool over so you can see. If Ryder were older, then I probably would have let him pour the colors on the pot while it was hot. But we're starting cool because he's five and... Are you allowed to use the stove? No, it's too scary to use it for me. Mm. So I'm now going to turn the heat on medium. This is my biggest burner. And we're slowly going to bring this up to just below a boil. So when we start seeing movement on the surface, we're going to reduce the uh, heat on the stove. Oh, sweetie. I'm move it this so okay. not that close. Okay, you don't have to be that close. Uh, if, if it does start to boil, don't worry, just reduce the heat and things should be fine. But now, guess what we have to do? What? What do you think we have to do? Wait. And then dry. Well, there's a few more steps before we can dry it, but yes, mostly we have to wait. So I'm going to set it, what honey? Eight. 19. Yes, so I just set a timer for 20 minutes. I will check in on this during that 20 minute process to see how the colors are going and to make sure it's not too hot. But then we'll come back. Oh, actually, Ryder, I want to add a little more vinegar. Do you want to hold it? There you go. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, next time, tilt it down a little bit into the pot so that way it doesn't come on the floor. So tilt your hand, tilt it down like that. Thank you. Okay. We added a little bit more acid and also poured some on the floor. But the reason why we added more acid now and not sooner is that this gave us more chance to let the colors spread out around the yarn. And since things are mixed up, uh, we do want it all to set. And sometimes you might need a little more acid. Wait. So see you in how many more minutes? 18. 47. No, 46. No, 45. 44. Hello, it's Rob back from... Cabinets. That's right. And 
Can you see your yarn? Yeah. Let me move it over there. Well, it's really hot still and on the stove, so I'm not going to move it over there. But can you see in the pot? Is this the color that you wanted? Yep. It is. That's great. So it's very hot. And Mommy is going to pick it up. And let's see, what color do you see? Ooh, this is beautiful. What color do you see left in the in the water? The color it is. It's blue. There's blue left. So blues can take longer to bind to yarn. So what we're going to do is add some vinegar. Is add some vinegar. And uh, what we can do, there's a few things we could do. We could heat it for longer like this, but uh, what I'm going to do is actually turn off the heat. The pot is hot and we're going to leave the yarn in here to cool. It'll take a long time for it to cool off and during that time we should theoretically absorb most of those blues. AmeriColor can be a little tricky sometimes, uh, so if we still see a lot of bright blue in the pot after this is cooled, then we'll come back and we'll talk about how to proceed. What do you think? Good. I'm watching the camera so you don't have to. You're watching the camera so I don't have to? Yeah. And what do you see? That everything is good. That everything is good? Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say before we come back? We're going to Costco. So, don't watch the video yet. Okay, we're going to Costco, so don't watch the video yet. There is no thing coming out of it. That's right. It is, it's still warm, but it's not super hot anymore. And let's see. What color do you see in the pot? Purple. No, no, what color do you see in the water? There's a little bit of particulates, probably from that pink. Uh, some of those America color, color colors crash see. out. Do you see any blue left in the pot? <laughs> Let's try it. Um, is there any more blue in the water? No. So, that means that all that color has absorbed. I'm going to go ahead and leave this in here so it can finish cooling. But Ryder, you dyed some gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. How do you feel? But, and also, we just went to Costco. Yeah, we just went to Costco. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Will we dry it right now? No, I'm going to let it finish cooling, and then after, probably after a rest, then we'll wash it. Okay, Riley, are you ready? Yep. That's why it goes. Well, before we dry it, we have to wash it. But with the exception of some random pink globs. That. That is just too beautiful. It's just too beautiful? Yeah. I agree. I think that mommy would have trouble creating something this beautiful if I wasn't like as easily as you did. I mean, food coloring is fun. This yarn base is amazing. I think one of the reasons why this worked so well is that we added the color, didn't move it a lot. I bet that there's gonna be a lot of white towards the center. But that means we got a deeper color because we dyed the outside and it is soft and it's pinkish purple and bluish green just like you wanted. And even the bluish green is almost everywhere. Yeah, do you like that? Yeah. All right. This green is one of my favorite colors. Green is one of your favorite colors. I'm adding Blue a... Bluish green. Bluish green. Oh, I... Yeah, green. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm adding green. a little bit of some... Clear dish soap. Pink is my favorite color. Purplish pinkish? Is that also so do you like bluish green or yellowish green better? Mm, sort of both. Sort of both? Yeah. Even though it's only like green, it doesn't even So matter. what color does the water look right now? Plain old white. It looks plain old white. That means we're not seeing any color coming out of the yarn. It means the color is in the yarn. So now what do you think it's time for? Dry it. Almost. I am going to rinse out the little bit of soap that we have in this yarn. Then we're going to put it through my spin dryer. And, and then we have some yarn. Well, and then we'll hang it up to dry. Yep. And then once it's dry, we'll show it to you and you can tell everyone what you think. How does that sound? Awesome. So what I'm just going to see how we take the soap out. 
Oh, okay. Well, the way I'm going to do that is by changing the water. How? How? Okay, well, fine, I'll show that. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up the yarn and gently squeeze, remove the liquid from there, and we're going to add more water to here to just rinse out that soap, and then we'll remove the water again. Does that answer your question? Yeah. All right, so, oh, should we show them the spin dryer? Cool. Okay, we'll be back. We'll show you the spin dryer. This is my Nina Soft spin dryer from Laundry Alternative. And one big reason why I don't really show it off is that this model happens to be discontinued. Uh, but I've been very, very happy with it. And you can see... That it's drying here. Yeah, I mean, look at all of this water. Look, they can see the light. See all the water that is coming out of the yarn. And so really I will just have the yarn in here for about a minute and then we will go hang it up to dry. I'm gonna open up the spin dryer to stop it. And our yarn is still damp, but it's a lot drier. And so now we'll go hang it up. Dad, wanna see it? Dad, you wanna see it? Dad, look at the yarn. That is very beautiful. Yep, it is. <laughs> Did you make it, Ryder? Yep. I even put the food coming in and stored the food coming up. <laughs> and put food coming on the ink white yarn. Even I got to put those black and purple things <laughs> on even. You will be able to say. <laughs> you help with everything? Yep. <laughs> what do you want to do with this yarn? Make a Kurosawa Inkun Pun. Make a what? Kurosawa Inkun Pun. That's <laughs> how you say hat with a pom pom in Hebrew. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kurosawa Inkun Pun. Okay. Say bye bye, Ryder. Bye! I'll film some conclusions with Ryder in a little bit. But this yarn is stunning and feels very sophisticated for a five-year-old. Uh, the reason why this works so well is that food coloring breaks. The colors break. So even with our mixture of blue, green, pink, and purple, we ended up with these teals and pinks and purples and blues all throughout the yarn because these reds struck nearly immediately, and then the blues spread out more. And so this duality worked, even with Ryder just dumping the color all into the center of the pot. We absolutely have some glazing effects here, in which I mean that we've got this shallow penetration of color with sort of white in the center. Part is because it's a single ply, and part is because I can manage to do this by accident, but not really on purpose. I think one of the keys is to really not move the yarn a lot in the pot, sort of. And so I'm not sure how to reconcile getting reasonable coverage of a glaze all over with also letting that color be so shallow. But also I think that it really does come down to using the correct yarn base for a project. I really hope that this shows that not only can you have fun dyeing yarn with kids, but you can also create some pretty elegant colorways. You can also create really, really wild things that go a little bit brown when they use lots of random colors. But since food coloring is made up of just really five colors mixed at different proportions, there's often beauty in the way these combine because of the way they separate with those reds striking first before the yellows and the blues. If you would like to learn more about the Knit Picks Muse yarn base that is 100% Superwash Merino, I will have an affiliate link down in the video description, along with links to a lot of my other favorite tools and equipment that I use uh, frequently to dye yarn. But now, let's go see what Ryder thinks of his creation. Hey Ryder, do you want to see your yarn? Yeah, I see it right in your hands. <laughs> Here it is. Tell me about the yarn. I want it to be a 
green and purple hat. Oh, so you want some green yarn to go with that color? Or is that yarn green? What color is your yarn? Blue is green is purple with pinkest. Oh, so you want that as a hat? Yeah. <laughs> How do you think of that hat? Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> That's your new hat? No. So do you want to keep the yarn for us? Yeah. Do you want to dye more yarn with Mommy? Actually, right now. Right now? Well, I don't know if we can do it today, but soon. <laughs> but, honey, you can't keep all of the yarn that you dye. Understand? But I made a heart. You made a heart? Aww. Um, my brother, Lucas, is at school. And my dad is at work. Oh, okay. And my y'all is right here. <laughs> Kiddo, you are so sweet. Now, can you tell everyone to please subscribe and smash that bell icon? Please subscribe. It's, it's just the end yet. We're, we're doing the end. Yes, please subscribe and smash that bell icon so you get notifications whenever I share a new video. Now, can I say? What do you want to say? Remember? Okay, yes, you can say it. What did I say? <laughs> All right. Bye. And remember cabinets. <laughs> For just reminders, it's Ryder from Cabinets. <laughs> and what's my name? Rebecca from Cabinets. That's right, I'm Rebecca from Cabinets. And thank you so much for watching. Now. Let's say bye bye. Bye. Oh, you want to go film some conclusions with mommy? Well, well, we already did that yarn, so we're going to go film some other conclusions of other yarn. Is that okay? Yes. Say bye bye to the camera. Bye bye. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, you can't see yourself because the camera's still going. No, 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 no! Don't touch the camera! Don't touch the camera! I'm not. Hi, this is Ryan and Rebecca making a cabinets video. <gasps> it is. We dyed some yarn to go. Bye. <laughs> I feel like I need to insert a clip of no mommy, no more, no yarn. <laughs> no mommy, yarn. No mommy. What is that? No mommy, yarn. Bye bye, bye.